Good morning, guys. There's some frost on the pumpkin this morning. It is pretty frigid. We're looking at 21.6 degrees below zero. So that's, what's that, about 53 and a half degrees of frost. It is negative 21.6 below zero. That's cold. I had a pretty comfortable night. I brought in a couple extra blankets. Didn't really need those. I did leave the buddy heater on low the whole night, which I normally don't do. I kind of wanted to keep stuff from freezing. I was hoping my batteries would charge for the GoPro. All my batteries are freezing. Uh, the water all froze last night. I, luckily, I put a coffee pot together as soon as I could with some water before it froze. So it ended up freezing, but I can still make coffee because it'll thaw there. I put some more water in a pot. But that froze up too. And I got some oil in my pan if I'm going to have some breakfast before I head out this morning. Because there's no pouring the, the olive oil this morning. That's pretty well frozen. So everything froze up, even in here, even running that heater on low. Yeah, if I ran it on medium or high, I bet you it still, everything would be frozen. The ceiling's pretty ripe in here. We got a oh, quarter inch of frost on everything. That's probably going to have to be melted off or drip off or... That could create a little bit of a problem. It's condensation from having a heat source. Anytime you have heat inside and it's that cold outside, you're gonna have some condensation from the two different temperatures, just like the windshield in your car. Plan for today is to be safe. You know, this is some dangerous stuff right here. We're looking at negative 21 right now. It's been dropping every half hour. It's dropped a couple more clicks and you got that weird phenomenon when the sun comes up it actually drops even more it'll drop as much as five or six more degrees we could be seeing like negative 25 negative 26 this morning when we go out to set up so we're gonna be safe we're gonna take one of the pop-up tents that the boys have and set that up set that up with a heater in it and get that ready as a heat source and then from there we'll go out and set traps whether it be set one or two traps come in and warm up or maybe maybe set all five we'll see how it is out there if there's no wind it's manageable you know you just cover your skin and try not to get a sweat going if there is wind then it's super dangerous you know you could you could do some real long-term damage to your skin or your body in just a matter of minutes or seconds in that in that temperature with some wind so they're calling for some wind today so we're going to try to get out of the wind as much as we can and fish. The plan is to do as much fishing as we can from inside of the shack. If we set traps, we're probably gonna drop some big bait down there and make it worth it if you get a flag to go out. And then inside, we're, we're gonna do some jigging with a pan up. I'm struggling a little bit with my GoPros and the batteries. I'm doing the best I can to put this show together, guys. But I don't know, I can't really, can't really promise much because the GoPros are freezing. They're freezing right inside the camera. Like while I'm doing footage, a new battery will just shut off. So it's been hard. I'm keeping the GoPros like tucked inside of my clothing so it has some body heat. But the ones that are spent, I'm not able to get them charged yet. So tonight, I think maybe I'll either put those in front of my heater, you know, while I'm eating dinner and see if, if uh, I can get enough heat on them to take a charge or maybe I'll send them over to Brandon because they keep that shack. I think it, it's been running like 70 degrees at night. So maybe I'll send some batteries and some chargers home with those guys and see if they can get some of these charged up for me so I can keep the show going. The show must go on. First things first is the coffee. And then after that, I'll start thinking about breakfast. The boys were talking about, she's perking already, nice. The boys were talking about doing a big breakfast on the ice. So no sense driving a big one into me now. We're gonna have another one in about an hour. I'm not going to say that coffee's a lifesaver because we know that's not true, but it will hit the spot pretty good this morning. I'm going to drink some of that. I got a thermos over there. I'm going to throw some more coffee in that thermos because it'll be good throughout the day. And if we're going to do some cooking in the shack, I'll probably bring the percolator with me. And it's a good day to drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> so it's going to be a blueberry muffin for breakfast this morning for me in here. Just something to get in the stomach before we head out there and have a big breakfast on the ice. It's still hovering right in the 21 below zero range right now. It's quiet out there. It was a uh, it was a really quiet night. Didn't hear the coyotes, you know, not hearing any crows or ravens or 
any bird chatter. The only thing I could hear was the ice was making more ice. I think it made pretty substantial amount of ice last night being that cold. Very clear sky out there. You could see every single star and see the moon, of course. And it's pretty awesome when you're up north and there's no artificial light contaminations. You can see every star in the sky. It's crazy how clear it is. And, you know, some nights when you get a full moon and a snowy, it's you can see just, just like it's daylight. Back when I used to trap and hunt up here for three straight months, I could be outside and see stars at my eye level through the trees. If there weren't trees there, I'd be able to see all the stars at eye level. That's how amazing the sky is at night up here. And I've seen moose at midnight or one in the morning walk right through camp and just see them plain as day. You can count the points on their antlers. It's 613, still negative 21.6. I got it to warm up to, neg uh, to positive 38 in here. If it's below, I guess, freezing, that won't read the inside temperature. So it, that's why it wasn't reading earlier when I shot it. But now I got the heat on low and kind of pointed in this direction. And, and I did some cooking, which actually heats it up in here pretty good too. So we're looking at 38 degrees inside right now. It was quite a bit colder than that last night in here because all the water froze. There's still snow on my drill and snow on the floor over here. And that's just how it is. Yesterday we had a run-in with all the law enforcement there are up here in this part of the North Main Wood. First, the Allagash Waterway Warden came and checked us or had a talk with us. And he had went to the trouble of printing up the weather for the next, I think, five or six days, the forecast. I think he was... I think he was pretty worried for me with these severe temps and how bad the weather is and the wind. And he really wanted to just make sure I knew what I was in for. And, and you know, I appreciate that. You know, he doesn't know how low my comfort level can get and how prepared I am for, for this type of weather. So that was good on his behalf. And then later in the day, we got checked by the game warden for this entire area and had a good talk with him. And, of course, we're all... We're all legal and had our sleds registered and uh, fishing licenses and we didn't keep any fish other than a couple cusk and some fall fish, some chabs. So that was a good run in with him too and you know it's good. It's good to see your law enforcement around and checking on you and knowing that there's going to be some pretty tough weather that they're concerned to. Blueberry muffins taste pretty good when you crisp them up on one side and they're soft on the other. So I think that's going to hit the spot this morning. It's basically just blueberry cake in a muffin shape. So I'm going to eat some blueberry cake in a muffin shape and then finish putting on some really warm, warm clothes today. I might wear long johns, which I've never worn. I got a pair in, in there and I'll definitely have a couple, couple different layers on before I put on my cold weather, weather gear. It's 615 right now, still hovering negative 21. It'll probably drop a couple more. You know, we were shooting for 630. I don't know. The boys were... They were a little slow going yesterday, getting them getting them going in the morning, and it wasn't light till darn near 7 a.m. up here anyways. I don't really expect them to be here at 6.30, but I'm expecting them sometime between 6.30 and 7. Okay, I'm mostly layered up. Uh, I haven't really dove into my coffee too much, but I'm going to go out and see how that new snowmobile starts after sitting in a night at negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see how she starts. Hopefully we don't have any problems with that. She's brisk out here this morning, fellas. Wow. All right, baby. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Wow. Sounded like a slow crank, but she started within a second. Pretty awesome. I'm smiling. I don't know if you can see it or not because it's so dark out, but I'm smiling. gonna let her warm up for a little while I'm not fishing far from here today I'm probably we're probably gonna tow fish right over there but I'm gonna let her warm up <laughs> it's pretty beautiful out here so guys while that's warming up I just want to take a quick second to talk about extreme cold temperatures in Maine anyway well, this isn't Alaska extreme or, or uh, northern Canada extreme but for Maine anything 
in that 20 20 below even more zero, below zero temperatures pretty pretty extreme once you see that negative on there you got to be careful but when it gets this cold it's important to think things through before you do them you know it's not just action and, and reaction like it can be on a normal day you got to really think things through always think safety you have to stay dry you can't sweat can't fall in a hole you can't uh, be standing in water inside of a tent you really got to stay dry uh, think out the situation so if you're planning a trip and it looks like it's really cold think of the worst things that could happen think of if your snowmobile starts are you able to walk out or do you have a jumper box do you have two jumper boxes how's your heat source how's your buddy heater do you have a backup do you have more propane if you get a bad tank with a bad valve do you have another tank to to back you up do you have extra blankets do you have so you're better off having too much stuff when you're looking at extreme cold you know it's funny i get in the comments people say oh that's the dumbest thing bringing all that stuff ice fishing but if you've never done it yourself and it's easy to say that from the couch but it's really important to have too much stuff and think of all the things that could go wrong and then plan for each one of those things that you can you know make sure you have your first aid kit make sure you have your fire extinguisher make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector these are all just simple things that you should have every trip but in the extreme cold everything is doubled or tripled or quadrupled when something bad happens all right i'm all ready to go been ready for a little while here this is something i'm not used to doing is waiting but i know the guys are dealing with a bait situation they brought all of our bait coolers into the a snowmobile trailer and and threw a buddy heater on all night oh, the boot almost fell they threw a buddy heater on it all night to keep it from freezing so hopefully we still have some live bait this morning hopefully it stayed warm enough so it didn't freeze solid and kill all the bait that's probably why they're running a little late plus they got three people and you never know really what what goes wrong on a day like today a lot of things could go wrong so they're running a little late i'm gonna open up the door and holler let's go brandon because that's who we're waiting for is brandon Not a drop hit the ground. That's what happens when you throw boiling water into the air at negative 22 degrees. Here she goes. <laughs> That's crazy cool. The trees are freezing. You could hear them popping in there, the spruce trees. Pretty well ready to go, just waiting on the boys. One thing I can promise you is they did not sleep in. They're not that type of guys. All right guys, this is camp set up for the week or 10 days or two weeks or however long I'm here. Uh, everything looks pretty good. It was hard getting these screws into the ground because I'm on top of ice, on top of rocks. I'm actually not over any water because I would get really nervous on this body of water about the slush. It slushes up like crazy. It could be 20 below and we're gonna hit slush pockets today, believe it or not. What I did is I tucked in behind this point right here. North is that way, north, northwest is that way. We're pretty much gonna always see north, northwest wind over the course of a week. You might get a day with some east or a day or two with some east or some south. And it's hard to really plan or hide from that knowing that most of the time it's going to be blowing the opposite direction i always set up for that so we're blocked from the west wind we're blocked from the north northwest wind and we're also blocked from the north wind it's pretty still and quiet out here which is a good thing because it's 22 below zero i'm still in my sweatshirt i don't even have my jacket on yet so it's not bad as long as there's no wind and i think we're going to get some pretty good wind today but that's camp for the week right there i was going to bank up the sides a little bit higher but i kind of ran out of time and it looks like I don't really need it anyway. Well, starting to get a little worried about the boys. I'll give them a little bit more time and head out and see if they're okay. With this type of weather, guys, it's, it's so quiet and still out here and there's no animals moving because animals go into survival mode when it's this cold. You know, it's going to be tough for a lot of the birds, like the grouse, partridge. What they do when it gets pretty hard below zero is they dive down into the snow and burrow into the snow and use the snow as an insulation all night rather than roost in a tree which they normally do the rest of the year but we don't really have a lot of snow right here i'm hoping in the woods there's enough snow for them and hopefully they're gonna not 
die of exposure. And a lot of the other birds up north do that. The rest of the birds fly south to warmer climates. Coyotes, deer, um, your prey animals like deer and moose rely on their fat stores that they've been building up for the last couple months. The bears up here, we only have black bears in Maine. They've been in deep hibernation since middle of October. So they go into like a hibernation torpor and their, their heart rate slows down to just about nothing. They're in the ground, underground, where they're a lot warmer. Your predator animals, they don't store as much fat as some of your other animals. So they actually still have to be active and eat. Now, when it's this cold, I gotta believe that they're hunkered down, not burning up energy and, or calories or any of their fat reserves. And they're just living off those and hunkered down, hopefully in a nice warm place for them. When, the, when it does warm up a little bit, they do get moving. When they're moving, they have to eat. So they're always on the hunt, always on the hunt all the time. Look at this predator coming in right now. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good, he's solo. Tropical, ain't it? Where's the boys? There goes. <coughs> you guys leave him? We just, we had a bait failure last I night with that. I figured. I said, I said the boys, I was just about to come out and look for you. I was starting to get worried. We, uh, we hooked up two buddy heaters up in the, in the clamshell trailer. Yeah. Try to keep it 30 degrees in there, you know what I mean, with the aerators running, and then, uh, I'd say the CO2 set it off, like you know what I mean? Too much CO2 shut them off in the trail. So when we get up this morning, there was that much ice on all, every bait pail. Oh, So we man. have to deal with that. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, that's what I figured. I said, I said they're definitely didn't dealing, lose with, nothing. dealing with the bait. No kidding? Yeah. Do you guys bring no. some good bait? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Were they right behind you? Right behind me. That's not good. You can't mess around on a day like today. How was it last night? Ah, it was minor. <laughs> it was minor. Yeah, it was, you, know, get, you know what the temp is right now? I would say negative 16. You're pretty close. 22. Oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> not bad me alone. No, it's minor. Once I cook in there, I'm probably gonna leave that buddy heater. It's funny, I leave the buddy heater going when I'm not in there. Why don't you run back? I'll finish. I, got, I just gotta put my jacket on. You wanna run back and see what's up? Yeah, I better. All right, if you're not, if you don't come back here in 10 minutes, I'll come find you. Were you hammering? Yeah, but not crazy. All right, uh, if you're not back, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put my jacket on, I'll follow you. Cause we can't frig around with this type of weather. If somebody's hurt, every second counts. Brandon just ran back to see where the boys are. They were right behind them two lakes back so something must be wrong or they met up with somebody so he headed right back i'm gonna head out behind them to see if everybody's okay see if i could help make sure nothing's wrong everything okay everything okay oh yeah okay we got worried when you guys weren't right behind i them. lost the pin in the jet sled i ran back to camp we had a spare pin, yeah. but it's a bet from Brandon. We can't get it through the sled. Well, that's good news. Take that, you filthy animal. Yeah. Uh, cool. I'll let it go. All right, Mark, what do you think, bud? 22 below? It's cold. Yeah. 
Yeah, your beard's looking like my beard now. It's freezing right out. Yeah, I, I ain't turned white this cold in a while. Nope. This is hardcore. Yeah, this is your first set. Yep. I, think, I think we got the whole lake system to ourselves. There ain't nobody else fishing this <laughs> yeah. all up in these parts. It's cold enough the warden won't even come out today. No. My finger just froze to the reel, so that's real great. <laughs> don't lick the reel. <laughs> yeah, don't lick the reel. Nice. Going after some Lakers today. Yeah. We going all Lakers or are we going to throw a brookie in there? Oh, I got to put a brookie out there. Yeah. My father killed me being up here not not yeah. putting a brookie set in. Oh, <laughs> that's what we got. There's uh that's a four inch pool. Oh man. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Could be a laker, could be a brookie here. Yeah, no. Feel them now? Oh, yeah. Anyway, well, probably coming right at you. I think so, maybe. I don't know. There he is. Got him back? I think so. Yeah, there he is. Sorry, I can't help you oh. real. Holy cow, he took a mile. Oh, he's out there. How's your hands? Oh, I'm warm. Nice. I'm, I'm all right. That wind. Yeah. Pretty good right now. Pretty good, and it's still 25 below. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow, are you gaining on him? Oh, yeah, that's probably... I bet you that bottom mark right there is probably still 50 feet down. <laughs> oh, there he is right here. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice laker. laker. Beauty. Can you see the hook? I got a tool right here. Gonzo. Okay. Nice one, buddy. Nice one. First one for yeah. the day. Yes, sir. All right. Good job. Good job. Thank you. All right. Where's your line? I'll run it out. Get out there, bub. Four Tatanka baits. <laughs> No. Oh! Oh, peeled him, didn't he? Yeah. Fish on, uh, Cam. Oh, yeah? Fun in hell, Mike. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Mermaid? Is. Mermaid! Baby! Wow. Nice God. one, Mark. Within 50 feet of where I caught that good one last year. How big was it? 10 9. Jeez. 32 inch. So he was fat. Oh, yeah, it was a beast. I was all, it was cold like this, I was all alone, nobody, nobody go out with me. You! Whoops, 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 yep. Hey, moose burger. Moose sausage, Italian sausage. Whoa. Well, I'll give you a mid-morning update. It's still pretty cold out there. We got one fish on the ice. Cameron got a laker. He had another flag or two. I had a flag and got stripped off that and stripped off my brookie trap. And there was one burbot caught inside the shack. That's about it. Otherwise, it's been it. pretty slow. Very slow. We got five, but, ten, we got 17 traps out. Yeah. But you think about it, we got a severe cold front, which usually shuts down fish. And we got bluebirds, guys. Shut down fishing and we got a little we got like a five mile hour wind with 25 26 below zero fahrenheit added to it so that'll uh freeze the beard pretty quick <laughs> yeah. put a little hair on your chest too yeah separate a couple men from the boys yeah nice thing is we didn't have to fight for any spots the last two days no ain't seen another fisherman no 
Not one. Yeah, seen two people and they were both law enforcement. <laughs> and they were surprised to see us. <laughs> what do you got to say, Bob? Goose steak, try it out, see if it's edible. Maybe. We got any paper. Where'd this moose come from? Zone, what was we in? Three? Zone three? Who got that one? My father. No way, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, is this the one that got tenderized on the yeah. fence? Yeah. <laughs> Probably didn't have any hide left on it by the time we got to the road. It's good. That's actually good. The top round steak, I want to tell you right now, that's My velvet. Top round. Top round off that moose. Top round, yeah. That's unbelievable, right isn't it? Oh, man. I've had stew meat off it already that's just melt. We got a flag, but we better grab a couple of them things. <laughs> I don't think they'll be here when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> You got a big old bait on there or something? No. Huh. That's kind of weird, ain't it? What happened? I felt the tongue and all of a sudden, boom, rub it out of my hand. Nice. As you were resetting? As I was just about to drop the flight down, drop the flight. See there? He's still there right now, yep. Oh, he dropped it again? What'd you get into, Mac? What we got? Now? I don't know. I don't know what I ain't we seen got. nothing yet. He's over there. Oh, boy. Fighting, ain't it? A little bit. I think oh, it's a whitey. Oh, little oh, oh whitey. gosh, a little tiny whitey. Nice. That's what he's down around. Yeah, 10 inches. You might get sunburn in here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, what a hook set. Yeah, oh, let's wow. show the folks at home what a white fish looks like, just in case it's the only one we get. That's a white fish, guys. Those got to be what, 16 in here? 16, yeah. yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. Just one second, I just see it. Didn't see it. Enough for a 10 pounder. That'd be nice. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Looks off to the side, coming around on you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. salmon. Salmon? Just sun cooked salmon? Right. Am I gonna come to a rubber band? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Oh, like fuck. dead weight going on now. Oh my god. Oh, oh come no, on! No, you kidding me? Jesus. What a Oh, that's gosh nuggets all day, Joe. Yeah, that's a good size. Let's eat him up. We got a knife in there? Oh, yeah. If we can't wait on him. Blowing a hole, 20. What are we munching on here, Bob? Oh, yeah. These are uh, cow Lewiston lobsters. <laughs> Coles? These are cow second. Hot yeah. dogs. This one's been fin clipped. They clipped the fin on this one. Oh, yeah. This was a V notch. V notch. Just put the end of it. Yeah. They gave, I got a V notch. Uh, I'm afraid we got to make the shift, Joe. What's going on? Well, we're flooding. Do you hear that? In a hurry. Anyway, back. Yeah, she's sinking all around the shack. Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. No. We gotta make a move, fellas. Even if it's wrong. Stop. 20 below zero. 30 below zero. <laughs> that wind is howling. Oh, with the wind, we're into the 40s. My beard freezes instantly. I don't like it. Yeah. I'm gonna have another pop top. Alright, high flyer time. Oh, we ain't getting in that way. We'll get in there somehow. She's rolling. Go. 
Feels like a burbot. Doesn't feel like much weight. I mean, it feels like dead weight. It feels actually all right, but dead weight. No fight yet. Probably a burbot. Shaking some heads now. We're gaining on the strain. He's got some weight to him. All right, we're at our starting point. He's shaking some head now. Big head shakes, but not a lot of weight. Lita. We got Lita. Light trout. Nice one. All right. We're not keeping him out long. He's four pounder, a little bit better. Hook's right there, so I'm gonna get the hook out. If my fingers work. Yeah, we got the hook out pretty easy. Nice big dark laker. That's a over four pounder. We'll get him right back. Beautiful fish. Beauty. Nice. All right, guys. We made the move. It's blowing probably 25 to 30 miles an hour out there north, northwest. So we came in and tucked behind this north shore over here. And we're out of the wind by quite a bit, but it's still below zero by about 18 degrees. So with that wind, it's pretty brutal and your beard freezes up pretty quick and the holes are all frozen. And we were starting to get pretty wet over there by the heater and the slush. So rather than have wet boots and a ruined day, we moved in and it's a lot nicer in here now. Sun shining, we're pretty close to the bank. We're looking pretty good, so in here we'll be able to jig for brookies. We'll be 10 foot or less, and you could even pop a togue in that depth too. But it, our chances of getting a brookie just went up a little bit, I'd say. What's it looking like in here, fellas? Warm. 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 Yeah. Very warm. Better. Wow, that didn't take long. Dry floor. Warm. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Telling you right now. It's real, Joe. <laughs> We just set this thing. <laughs> they say the ones that have been in all morning should be nice. Yeah. You just set this? Is it mine? Yeah, it's Mark's. Oh, another another high flyer. Yours just went up. No way! Yeah, remember we were just looked at that one. Or is that Mark's other one? Where that are you one looking right up? there, right there. Oh the yeah! Didn't we just look at that? Yeah, we did. I didn't didn't you just say that's my last one? Yep. Alright. Alright, let me shut the snow wheel off. There you go. Serious video footage. Ready, Cam? Yeah, you can oh. get, Hit mine, too. Yeah. You're going to have to be quick. Oh, my God. This is... Oh, bad. I'm telling you, bad. Any weight? Yeah. Some weight there. Oh. Some more weight. You better land this fish for him, Brandon. I'm going right to my... Right. Another flag just went up right over there. See it? Oh, by the mountains. Just went up an hour and a half ago, probably. That one. Yeah, just went up. You seen another one? No, that's it. Just went up, though. That could be the one. This way right here ain't nothing to shy about. Oh, well, we got uh, some sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Did it get smaller? No. There. He might need some. Want me gothy? <laughs> Hit the line. Man, he looks like a fight man. He is. He, don't, he didn't like that hole at all. It's only eight pound test. That's pretty good weight right there. I couldn't see. I don't know what to do. Brookie. Oh, oh god. This ain't nothing. Of course, you got. Like a. Well, that's decent. Let him go. Cut him. Yes, sir. Yeah! Good job, buddy. On the board. Everybody. Oh, we got to get Brandon one. Yeah. You might need a chisel. Yeah, 
<laughs> you know it's cold when the big boy comes out. Oh, that's real. Really? I think he likes this chisel. I put my top wrap on. Pretend you lose it. Oh my word. Aren't you glad you don't have to reel that in? Oh. Somebody else does. Great news is I only got one more to pick up. I'm telling you right now, it's three times what I was just on my. That's not good. Brandon, you got to get on the board though. Get rid of that skunk. Let's get things down the brook. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Anything? Get something there a long ways away. All these toads have been coming back on themselves. This one's there, but it's just, I think it's a mile away. You got a really small one. Probably still have to get them on. How do you like that wind? That's nice. Yeah, that, that, I'll blow 2030. I like it. Oh, oh, oh. Size? Like a, like a what? A big burbot. Not king. A good one. That's the burbot. This is the one we're looking for. Was this your big sucker? No, this is the only smelt I put down there. Oh. I just don't feel too bad though, I'm telling you. I'm a long ways away still. How you doing, Cameron? Not good. You say not good? No, I'm good. Okay. Hopefully. Ten minutes later. I'm telling you, I don't think this is a small fish. How big? I hate talk that turn, Joe. <laughs> Don't tell any tales out of school. The brookie, you're gonna see me go absolutely full with the tide. Nice like a. Yeah. Nice like a. We got a That one's out of the belly on him. Piece of fish. Oh, we're getting burnt. We're getting fins on it. We're getting burnt. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, guys. Good, good double. Nice All right, you job. got rid of the skunk, buddy. It's going. There's a fish there. Doesn't feel very big yet. Might be coming back at me. Yeah, he just got a little bigger. 
It is cold out here, folks. Feels maybe burbot. Trying to bounce them like a burbot. Oh, what just happened? Big head shakes. Like trout. All right. Hey, ugly. What are you doing, ugly? Open up. Yeah, he swallowed it. We'll let him have it. Get him back down pretty quick. Nice Laker. It's downright rude out here for for weather right now. It's pretty well brutal. My hands never get cold and they are pretty cold. I gotta get some gloves on and take a minute and bring this trap up. I'm gonna start picking them up one by each. We're a little bit early to start picking up, but I'll do one every 45 minutes or so and a couple hard ones at the end. But it's pretty rude out here. It's blowing 25 to 35 and we're still negatives. We're negative 18 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Here, I'll cool you in. Going, but by 11 o'clock tomorrow, Joe. Morning or night? Tomorrow morning. They're leaving at 6. Mike's going to be departing us. Yep. What do you guys think, think of today? What do you guys think of today? Cold, slow fishing. But slow fishing, it. cold. Not a very good bite, but we tried. Well, yep. As far as days, rugged days on the water, how's that rank for tough days? Number one. Number one for me. Yeah. This is right on the top. <laughs> yeah, it would bomb me. <laughs> bomb me. Yeah. But. No, I mean, anytime you're 28 below on the Merc, and then you add start adding 20, 30 to it, miles oh, per hour. Brutal. Yeah. That wind, when we moved over there, I think that was the coldest part of the day right there. That was oh, yeah, unreal. No nice in here, no wind. This is just right. I can't get over the slush out there. I, yeah, this lake flooded. It's dangerous. This lake's going to hell fast. Yeah, there's, there's some slush pockets that are eight deep. inches deep six yeah inches deep. yeah slow down through them. no oh look at that eagle right by the mountains yeah i could probably throw a football over those mountains <laughs> <laughs> guys i'm going to show you what we're running for sleds this is my new one here this year the expedition se 900 ace that one's got a 20 inch wide ice raker track on it it's been beautiful in the slush and and uh it's been pretty awesome for me we'll go right through the the list here see who else see who's running what this this sled right here is kind of impressive <laughs> this is a pretty impressive sled right here what do you, what do you got there bob 24 inch super wide track on what 900 Turbo Expedition SWT, which stands for sweet, right? But that thing's got a 24 inch track. By 155. Wow. Ultimate ice fishing sled. Yeah, I'd say. You could tow about anything with it too, couldn't you? Yeah, we You got the ice breaker too. That's quite a weapon right there. That is quite a weapon right there, Brandon. High low, turbo, all the all the speed in the world. Runs on 91. And then over here, what do we got over here, Cameron? New uh, Expedition LE 900 turbo. I like it a lot. 20 inch wide track. It's quite an upgrade from yours yeah, last year. Big difference from the, this and the one Polaris. What do you think? So rips. far, rips pretty good. That's got the 20 inch ice raker? Yep. Uh, or the 20 inch track? It's got the 20 inch wide. 
Yep. Put the, put the screws in there, a little extra grip. Oh, nice. Yep. They're good machines. Beautiful. I saw one laying, laying out. And then last but not least, Mark's over here running the 900 Ace Expedition Ellie. That looks like, is that 20 or 24? 20. 20 inch track on that thing. Long track. She's a beast. Beautiful. There's, there's four expeditions right there, fellas, and they're all pretty well awesome. A little bit different models on each of them, but that's about it. Quiet, four stroke. Yeah. Yes, another great day of fishing. It's uh, it's dark, but it's light, so we could have pushed it a little more, but when it's this cold, you don't really want to push it much. That wind dying right at the end of the day made it just amazing and so much easier to pick up the traps and get cleaned up because it was pretty raunchy earlier. Uh, absolutely gorgeous out here, if you could see. And there's Mount Katahdin and the whole Katahdin chain over here running right through there. It's kind of pretty, if you like that kind of thing. But sled's running great. So happy I have it. Best thing I've ever bought, I'd have to say so far. It's still got that new sled smell to it. But this is why today was so tough right here. If you look at this bluebird sky and super, super high pressure day on the barometer and high pressure on the thermometer and pretty high on the windometer too so all those together made for a pretty tough day and when if the conditions are that tough like I, I moved trap maybe i might have moved two traps to different locations and checked my bait not as often as normal because it's just incredibly tough when it's that cold and that uncomfortable to get out there and do like the little things that make you a better fisherman which are to check your bait to raise or lower your bait to move your traps around it just on a day like today just getting out there and fishing is hard enough so weren't able to do that as much as i'd like to i did get it done a little bit it was nice having that pop up that eskimo xd 650 is a pretty awesome shack it's a little bit it's bigger than my 450i here or the 450 xd so it's pretty that's pretty nice it's something i'd consider in the future maybe if i needed to upsize just a little bit more but right now while i still have a little bit of light i'm going to unpack the otter tote sled uh, get the heat going in here and kind of try to thaw out just a little bit before making that run over to the dinner house and seeing the boys for that breakfast that we were going to have that we hadn't had yet so we're going to have that for dinner tonight so here we go back to the shack it's pretty frosty in here okay all right imagine that water's frozen solid yeah oh yeah yeah, it froze pretty bad in here today. There's at least an inch ice on top of that. Coffee pot's ready to go for tomorrow. I got that ready and filled. And then this I can thaw out. So, yeah, it's still negative 12 right now. It's warmed up. Third one. It's usually the third one. We still iced six togue two cask and a whitefish so not 
not a terrible day considering the conditions and we weren't really super mobile and getting out there and and working our bait as much as normal but yeah i've had much worse <laughs> if you guys ever take trips like this where you're there for several days you gotta expect one day where at least one day where the fish aren't biting and and it's just a tough bite because that's just the, the nature of the beast and hopefully you don't get a whole trip like that and I'd love to hear you that you get all smasher days, but the truth of the matter is you're going to have one or two days where just nothing works out. You don't catch them and nothing's biting. Doesn't mean you're in a bad spot or you're doing the wrong thing. Just means it didn't work out that day and they just, it wasn't a good fishing day. That's a Pembroke main can opener. We got it, boy. Making her happen. When you forget a can opener in the alligators. We're gonna have beans one way or another. <laughs> I guarantee it. It's happening. Mark was planning on leaving in the morning because he had to take his wife to a Jeff Dunham show in Bangalore tomorrow night. And she just texted me, tell Mark the show's canceled, he might as well stay fishing. No! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet! So if you guys get overflowed here, he can come down and sleep with me. <laughs> I am kidding. I'm about matching you. <laughs> I'll sleep the dry. I'll run the heat on low for you. Hey, you come down. Oh my word. <laughs> We have two picks, though? Yeah, I think so. Room for a couple more there, Joe? <laughs> There's always room for a couple more, I guess. We, I don't know about if we got room for it. I think that thing's got sides on it, Joe. Should be rolling her off sides right now. <laughs> Delicious. Well, that's all she wrote for today, guys. That was a pretty incredible dinner over at Brandon's. Had a monstrous breakfast for dinner, and boy, it hit the spot. It's a little bit after seven, but I'm gonna hit the the rack. I'm I'm pretty tired. Super cold days like that take a lot out of you, and uh, we've been going hired at it for a couple days. So tomorrow we're heading way up north end of Chamberlain. We've still got some weather tomorrow. Supposed to warm up and get above zero at least, but we got some wind coming too so i don't think we're gonna be able to duck away from that we'll just we'll just figure it out fight around it it's not a big deal right now i'm looking at 16 below zero and dropping I'm gonna crawl in that sleeping bag uh pull a blanket over me and shut her down for the night probably do a little reading first and last night i didn't get too far reading i was pretty tired so that was the end of this end of it for me thanks again for tuning in guys another great day even on a tough day that's important to grind out those tough days because they're not all gravy. So tomorrow, maybe we'll have some gravy. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in. Check out tomorrow's episode.